In this video, I'm going to be going over my pack predictions for this week's content drop in NBA 2K23 My Team, which if you guys don't know, tomorrow we are going to be getting the next cards in the game. If you guys don't know what the next cards are, those are going to be all of the rookies that will be getting drafted tomorrow. So Victor Wembanyama, Scoot Henderson, Brandon Miller, the Thompson Twins, like Cam Whitmore, all those guys, if you've been following some of the rookie classes and just you know who's going to be in the draft, all of these cards are going to be getting Dark Matters. So it's crazy that Victor is going to be getting his Dark Matter card in my team. And if you guys don't know, last year, we did get it on a Thursday. And that's why I'm making my predictions today, because we're going to be getting the content tomorrow on Thursday. As you guys can see here on 2KDB, last year, we got Endgame Scotty Barnes. That was, I, I believe, our first Endgame card the entire year. Like, that was the first Endgame of 2K22. We also got Invincible Evan Mobley, Invincible Cade. So I do think we'll be getting those again. We might get even more Invincibles and just that one end game and then like you guys can see we got dark matter chet we got dark matter paulo bancaro dyson daniels Jaden ivy jabari keegan murray right mark williams benedict matherin johnny davis jalen duran like we got all of these cards and we'll be getting the exact same thing tomorrow in my team at least most of us are speculating because as you guys can see right here we got it on thursday june 23rd which is a little bit different of a day i think tomorrow is supposed to be the 22nd so it's just going to be on a thursday you know one day before but yeah we're gonna be getting next cards tomorrow and i'll be making my pack predictions in this video of who i think will be getting not the rookies because we know we're gonna get victor we know we're gonna get scoot henderson brandon miller right we know we're gonna we know we're gonna get all those cards grady dick most likely anthony black we know we'll be getting those type of cards but i want to make my predictions on you know who the end game might be who the invincibles potentially could be and then also some other guys i think that are sleepers that could potentially get uh potentially could be getting a dark matter because if we look at last year how many actual you know cards were there so there's 17 in total but then you got to take out these two to 15 so there was 12 so there was 12 actual cards in this next set right so who else is there going to be from the lottery so it's just going to be mostly lottery picks are they going to maybe you know pick people they think that could be really good in 2k i'll kind of be making my predictions on that as well but mainly just going over who i think the end game could be who i think the two or three or maybe four invincibles potentially could be so talking about the end game first as you guys know we did get our first end game card last friday which was end game kevin durant and he's one of the best cards and one of the more expensive cards in the game even though he's really not going for that much mt maybe because that's maybe it's because of victor Wembanyama and people are just saving their mt for that card or maybe it's because there was an option pack so a lot of people just bought him straight out off the auction or didn't buy him off the auction house and just bought him right out of that option pack but yeah kevin durant did come out last friday so we'll most likely be getting another invincible with this next drop i don't think victor will be an invincible or an end game card i think he'll just be that standard dark matter in the next set but to talk about the end game if we look at if we look at last year right last year like i said we did get the exact same set but last year we got uh, we got endgame scotty barnes so and the reason why i think we got endgame scotty barnes is because he's it's because he got rookie of the year so my guess for the end game would be paulo bancaro i think it makes the most sense for him to be coming out he previously got a galaxy opal this year like i don't think he even has a dark matter yet if you go down to i think season five it was right in the phenom set I'm pretty sure yeah this I'm pretty sure this was his last card because he didn't get a playoff card so this was his this was Paulo's last card in the game a galaxy opal version so I do think he's going to be my guess for the end game card but let me know in the comment section down below your guys' predictions for the end game the invincibles and maybe some other next cards you guys can see besides the obvious you know Victor Scoot and Brandon Miller you know just just basically let me basically just let me know your guys' guesses for tomorrow's content drop but yeah paulo bancaro is going to be my end game guess mainly just off the fact that he won rookie of the year and i'm going off the fact that's what they did last year with scotty barnes and that's the reason why he got the end game card that's kind of my prediction for who's going to be getting the end game now to talk about the invincibles that's where things i think get a little bit more interesting because last year we got two right last year was k cunningham and evan mobley who were like the runner-ups in the rookie of the year voting right i think Cade was two and then evan mobley was three if i'm not mistaken so it could be like that again this year i'm pretty sure the runner-ups were jalen williams and walker kessler i think kessler might have been two and then Jalen Williams was three, but I could definitely see that. I'm not sure if that's going to be my guess because there's also cards like Benedict Matherin. I could for sure see getting uh, Invincible. Maybe they go what they did last year and give us Invincible Cade or Mobley again, right? Because both those cards could definitely use an Invincible. Maybe they go from somebody else in the draft class, like a Jabari Smith, potentially. Maybe they go 
I was about to say Chet, but probably not. So my guess is for the Invincible, I think the most obvious guesses is Walker Kessler and Jalen Williams because that's what they did last year with the content drop. They just gave up that they just gave us a two runners up, you know, uh, Kay Cunningham and Evan Mobley for the rookie of the year. I think they could do that again this year and Walker Kessler could actually be a really good center card if he could play power forward like maybe not center but if he could play power forward because he was from that one all-star set I believe that was from season four right if you go over to the all-star yeah he got this galley simple card here you know he's seven foot so if he could play power forward and he gets like a good jump shot he has a great player model and we know he's going to be an elite level defender so I think if he gets an invincible card, he could actually be pretty solid in game. And then also Jalen Williams, his last card was, I believe, from this elemental set. Yeah, it was this Galaxy Opal card right here. Now he's only six foot five at, or six foot six that shooting guard, which I guess is decent. It would be nice if he could play point guard, just with how many tall point guards we have in the game. So I do think if he gets an invincible, hopefully he can play the point guard position. So I know it's a very basic guess, but I'm gonna say Jalen Williams and Walker Kessler get the two invincibles. If they were to do a third invincible, I think it would most likely be Benedict Matherin. I could for sure see maybe Jabari Smith Jr. giving him an invincible. I could see a Cade or a Mobley just because of last year's draft class or maybe a Jalen Green potentially. I could see any of those happening, but for my end game guess, I'm gonna go Paulo Bancaro. And then for my invincibles, I'm gonna go Walker Kessler and go Jalen Williams, but I could see Benedict Matherin, Jabari Smith. I could potentially even see a Cade, a Mobley, a Jalen Green, you know, somebody else from last year's draft class, not Scotty Barnes because he just got that dark matter version but yeah guys that's going to be my pack predictions for tomorrow's uh, next drop right i don't really have any other guesses for the next cards if you guys have any guesses for maybe some lower names in the draft list that you guys think could get a dark matter let me know but yeah really excited for victor wembanyama a big expected date in the my team mode for this year everyone's been expecting and you know just anticipating dark matter victor coming in this next drop and it's finally happening to, uh, happening tomorrow so really excited about that but let me know in the comment section down below your guys's other pack prediction pack predictions that we could see as the end game and also the other invincibles but hopefully you guys did enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace